Hi guys and welcome to our Wisdom Wednesday. We are out here with Yanni on a rugby field. We want to speak to him about the upcoming World Cup. Um, Yanni, how are you? Yeah, fine. Thanks for meeting me. I'm well, thanks. All right, I do have a couple of questions that we just want to ask you, all right? Okay, cool. What do you expect from the Springbok at this uh, year's rugby World Cup? Um, I think they're going to go well, you especially think? with the preparation that Rossi did with the team. And uh, especially with Sia back in the team, I think that's going to be a, a good booster for them. I'm, uh, I'm actually very, very um, excited about Saturday's game. Yeah, yeah. And I think guys like uh, Shaw Yankees coming in um, to back up, fourth, fourth backing up uh, mm. Shaw Yankees, um, that gives us an edge actually. Mm. And with two players actually now um, that New Zealand said it's not going to play on Saturday, mm. I think we win a good spot. Yeah. Are there any other teams you think will stand a chance um, of winning the, the World Cup? Uh, I think we must definitely not underestimate Argentina. They showed in the in the Super Series, uh, the, the, uh, um, the, not the Tri Nations, but uh, they showed uh, what they can do and they can hurt big teams. Yeah. Um, yeah, and actually um, Scotland, mm. uh, you know, with a team with the less contracted players in the world. And they showed a lot of art in the Six Nations, and also with uh, uh, I saw it in uh, one of our local boy kids, Bobby Vanikap's son, Kocha. He played for the junior team in the Six Nations, and I saw you know the, the structure and the plan they've got, and they're small players, but uh, I think we can expect a lot of them. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and finally, do you think the Springboks will beat New Zealand in the tournament opener this Saturday? Absolutely, they must. And they, they, I, I don't expect anything else. I think Rossi's whole plan was with the open air to win. Mm -hmm. um, if they don't win, they must kind of get the heart through to the final. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they must then face Ireland in the quarterfinals mm -hmm. and then perhaps England in the semi finals. That's going to be a much harder than um, if they win Saturday. Yeah. But yeah, I think the self belief that Rossi put into the team mm -hmm. is actually amazing, you know. and, and People just, the players just started believing in in, um, in themselves again, and they start believing like in 2007. Yeah. There's something special about this team, and we could have seen it. Um, the fact that uh, they came back um, in New Zealand to, to, to draw New Zealand in New Zealand just showed these guys are here to play, and they play here for 80 minutes plus. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited mm -hmm. about it. What do you think the score is going to be finally? Uh, well, it's going to be a close score, um, especially with the weather um, on that side. It's a bit warm, yeah, it's uh, so warm. I think yeah, um, to adapt to that kind of game, it's not so, going to be a running game. Yeah. Um, I think they're going to take the points when they when it's on on hand. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be about if I can make a prediction, 26-20 uh, mm -hmm. Springboks. All right, there we had it from uh, Yanni, uh, who's also looking forward to. Uh, the World Cup this weekend. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot to me. Right. It's a pleasure speaking to you. All right.